Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. As you guys can see I haven't found the time to put up my new wall plaques uh, which I'm still very very happy but yeah I'll probably do that sometime later this week but today it is time to have ourselves another beer and I'm actually very excited about the beer that we're gonna taste today because it brings together two uh, Antwerp icons um, also it is a double birthday beer we are gonna talk about the Radio Minerva triple or in English you'd say Minerva but we say Radio Minerva in Antwerp and it is brewed by the Antwerp Brewing Company um, not to be confused with North Antwerp Brewing Co uh, this is the Andrew Brewing Company that also makes Safe Beer, uh, Nonkel Pater and many other beers. I'm not going to talk about the brewery too much today uh, because I will be talking about them extensively in another video and if I'm lucky I might even get Johan, the owner, before the lens. Um, but those two icons also have uh, a history together for example 10 years ago when Johan started the brewery Johan van Dijk by the way he, he already had a history in beer he was actually a marketing manager and he used to work with Pierre Celis at Hoogarde and then he uh, went to Duvel Moortjat And about 10 years ago, in 2012, he started his own brewery after a whole historical search, but that's a story for another video. Um, and he started the Antwerp Brewing Company. In 2012, when he wanted to start the company, he launched a, a crowdfunding action and Radio Minerva helped with that action. So this year is the Antwerp Brewing Company's 10th anniversary and Radio Minerva celebrates their 40th birthday this year. Now Radio Minerva is a um, old radio station in every aspect uh, and by that I mean it is run by seniors. I have uh, friends whose grandparents uh, present shows on that radio it is awesome they have the best swing and big band programs and some rock and roll here and there and their chairman uh, Frank Bukov talked to Johan and they wanted to brew a Radio Minerva classic beer mainly because it's their anniversary but also because they were on the verge of losing their permit that would have been a shame of course like the oldest Antwerp radio station not being able yeah to exist anymore so they got to talking and after a lot of talks uh, they decided on a classic beer a real classic Belgian triple with a twist and that twist would be uh, yeah a slightly herbal taste uh, like a little something extra a bit more body and Johan got to brewing and this is the beer that made the cut as usual a lovely label I'll put it over there with the typical Antwerp Brewing Co guy uh, there is something funky going on with his arm here but hey it's that's a minor detail Radio Minerva Triple 7% ABV Classic Triple in cooperation with the iconic radio station Radio Minerva Royal Blonde Beer Full Mouthfeel with Herbal Essence And they do mean uh, a herbal touch not like they put in essence Golden and rich with spicy notes Brewed with oats, barley and wheat okay part of the profits go to Radio Minerva 
and here we have the classic Radio Minerva logo. There's also a Belgian uh, car tire, yeah, manufacturer, and they use actually the same logo. <coughs> Today I am not using my classic tasting glasses, I am tasting this lovely executive or using this lovely executive glass uh, by the Antwerp Brewing Company themselves. Unfortunately, the Radio Minerva printed glass didn't get here on time, so I am using the Lucy glass. But hey, it is the same glass. So let's get to tasting. Already see some bubbles purling up. Oh, that is a very full scent. It's like straight up in there. A very dark smell, if you catch my drift. Quite a bit of carbon dioxide. Very, very, uh, yeah, a lot of barley. Slightly spicy if you wait long enough. Okay. Let's see how this looks. I am a bit enthusiastic. I actually visited this brewery uh, quite often because <coughs> one of my best friends used to live next to it. <laughs> So in summer when I visited him, we could go sit in the yard, have a beer, or we could just go to the brewery and have a beer. And I can only recommend this. They have a great, uh, yeah, a great patio um, with some tents, some, some yeah, nice places to sit. They have barbecues, they have everything you need, even everything you don't need. And if you go inside, you're actually having a beer in the brew like really inside the brewery um, you are actually drinking between the fermentation tanks and yeah that's that's absolutely lovely they do a lot of shows as well some music some comedy uh, really ticks all my boxes and uh, Johan the brewer is, is a really approachable guy so back to the beer a lot of condensation I did put it quite cold. The label says drink at the three degrees centigrade. I think I'm about at uh, about three or four degrees. Okay. First off, slightly hazy. <coughs> Pardon me. Indeed, a golden blonde. I'll turn it this way around so you don't just see the logo, but you also see the beer. Some nice white foam, combination of tiny and larger pearls. A lot of bubbling going on in here, very active. Also, a large amount of foam. Which is really staying there and now I get out in the open I get a lot less uh, malt in the scent I get a lot more spicy smells maybe some coriander I'm not getting any orange peel in there or something so yeah, I think it's it's fairly limited. Actually, only coriander. I don't get any other herbs or spices. Maybe in the taste. Okay. It is quite a bit sweeter than I expected. 
Um, I'd say compare it to a triple Carmelite or a triple Danvers. Um, but indeed with those it's not just spicy notes it's actually uh, <coughs> a whole a whole different side to it um, again with the coriander call me crazy but I get the idea of some sage in there And I actually do love uh, herbal and spicy triples. I used to drink nothing but triples. I came back from that. Uh, then I went to the Geurs and the Saison, as you guys might know if you've watched more than one video. Um, but this is, is actually exactly what they aim for. This is an absolute classic with a twist. And for years now, I've loved that twist. And um, Strangely enough, I mainly found that uh, in Holland. And I, for the life of me, can't remember which brewery. I think it's Dommels or Grolsch, one of those two. They have a, yeah, an experimental brewery and they make a mean herbal triple. And it's actually bottled in labelless bottles and it's just called herbal triple <laughs> so yeah nothing fancy no marketing you're actually you're lucky if you find one uh in belgium albert hein thank you very much but back to this actually this beer um i got this from the bar where i work and like i said i kind of know the brewer and the brewery quite well but it's also being sold at uh, all the Lazer stores in Antwerp so it is limited in time but you should be able to get your hands on one of these Yeah, I'm definitely getting some sage in there. Now, I'm not saying it's in there. I'm saying that's what I taste. <laughs> it's like saying you uh, taste peaches in wine. Yeah. I actually do think that this is another absolutely lovely product by Anto Brewing Company. And actually, the fun thing is uh, when they started the brewing company, People laughed because Johan was bringing back something very old and actually lost in history. He put a lot of work into finding it back and it became a great success. And I believe they have six main beers now, this being the seventh. And one by one, each and every one of them won gold. Just an Uncle Pater, uh, which is a crossover between a double and a quadruple. It's like a very drinkable quadruple. Or a very heavy double. It won silver every time until last year when it finally made gold. <laughs> a lot of frustration there. And I do see this actually winning some awards as well. If they of course decide to keep it in their range funny thing is actually when you take a sip your mouth gets filled gets filled with a lot of sweet malty aromas then the herbs and spices kick in you swallow, it rolls over the tongue into the throat, the carbon dioxide slowly disappears and all that's left is the spicy aftertaste. Yeah, absolutely a lovely product.
And as usual, I am a huge fan of the vintage uh, branding of all their beers. Okay, guys, I am gonna leave it at that uh, because I want to enjoy this beer a bit further. I've been into this video for about 15 minutes now and it's almost gone. And this is a beer for enjoying and not for chugging, as I say often. So, you guys, if you're in Antwerp or, or in Belgium, Belgium isn't that big, come to Antwerp, get your hands on some of these. Uh, listen to Radio Minerva if you get the chance. Visit the brewery, it's by the waterfront, a uh, lovely location. By the way, not sponsored, I just really love the place. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be on Friday. As usual, if you like this video, like, comment if you tried this beer uh, or you taste anything different in there, comment down below. And if you want to see more, subscribe, hit the bell icon and you'll get notified whenever I upload something, which should be every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. That being said, cheers you guys, on to the next one.